Hello, hello to all of my Geminis. Geminis, this video is for the 20th of January through the 28th of February. On the 20th, we close out this cycle. Yes, when we move through these moon phases, remember that the moon is aligned with our feelings, subconscious habits, our moods, our emotions, um, what looks like self-care in our universe, um, listening to our what feeds our soul. So the closing out cycles means that you are you feel good about moving on from something emotionally. Yeah, physically you may be moving on from something, but emotionally you're also moving on from something. So let's get into it, Gemini's. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards, let's see what message is in the cards for you. So make sure you're closing out cycles. You're closing them out on the high note as much as possible. The world card, we have the strength card. We also have the two of cups. We have the high priestess, the magician card, and the tower card. So somebody's having some revelations about some things. Like somebody is starting to understand really what it means to close out a cycle. It's not just physically moving on from something or saying, you know, you can forgive what you can't forget. I mean, obviously, you don't want to forget. You want to remember to learn the lesson, right? But you also want to heal through it and not be hard on yourself and say, why can't I get over this? Like beat yourself up. You don't want to do all of that. The world is already harsh enough. You don't want to be hard on yourself. Here we have the high priestess. It looks like somebody's just very sensitive to energy. So you could be having some downloads coming through your dreams about, you know, what nurtures your spirit and what doesn't nurture your spirit. Like what feels like a soulmate or part of your soul tribe. And so, and what doesn't feel like a part of your soul tribe, it's going to really come down to this. Energy leaks versus energy hacks. Energy leaks versus energy hacks. Whose energy is draining and whose energy is inspiring? That may not, that may not be the easiest, especially if it's family and you're not ready to cut family members off, but you certainly can create such found, found burnt, excuse me, firm boundaries that they know they they are aware of the temperature change, right? So I do see you tapping into your strength and listening to the messages that are coming through. Like make a practice of writing down your dreams, like writing down the, the things that you're having dreams about. You don't have to remember from start to finish. Very seldom do people remember like how their dream started or how the dream ended. And if you don't remember your dreams, what's the first feeling or what was your first thought when you woke up? You know, sacral chakra music will help with that. You don't have to listen to it while you're uh, asleep. You can listen to it throughout the day to start the process of flushing out any blockages in your in your universe. Um, it's like spraying all the debris off the ground so you can see if there's any cracks in your foundation. It's, it's kind of like that. You know, obviously, there's a much a much uh, deeper description than that, but that's, it's kind of like that. Here we have the eight of swords. We have the two of pentacles, the two of the, uh, the world card, the judgment card, the sun card, and also the hangman. Okay. So I see somebody breaking some kind of a generational curse and breaking some kind of generational cycle, you know, that you felt like, um, um, Hmm. Somebody may have felt like they were delusional about something. But I do see, I see clarity there. This is a lot of water here. Pluto is the uh, planet of transformation and power. I see you taking your power back by ascending higher and seeing situations for what they truly are and then making some decisions from there. Like, let's say, for instance, let's say, for instance, um, a generational something could be... Uh, um, adult children not expressing themselves to their parents, you know, expressing themselves in an effective way, or maybe it's the other way around. Um, uh, parents not knowing how to express themselves to their, their children, like trying to explain to them why they are the way that they are. Right. I see somebody breaking that. I see somebody, you know, really taking the time to, or a generational cycle or curse or chain could be, you know, people on public assistance, um, or it could be, you know, people stopping at a certain grade in school and somebody saying, I'm going to break through that. I'm going to be the first one to do X, Y, and Z. I see you being the first person to do something that's going to change, um, your current and future, um, relationships, 
coming back around through the ancestral line. I see you doing something to do that. So I do see you closing out cycles. I do see you feeling liberated and free. Um, Saturn is the planet of authority and maturity. So somebody becoming a lot more mature about a situation and just saying, okay, I'm getting serious about my life. If I really, really want to attract the things that I've been praying for that have been weighing me down and or some somewhat even aging me to some degree, just draining my energy. I need to I need to make some changes. I, I need to I need to really make some changes so that it's not self sabotage. Part of it is you may come from a family where everybody works for an organization or company. Nobody really started a business. That could be something too. That could be breaking a generational cycle. It's not always generational curses. You could be breaking a generational curse, a cycle, a chain, or all of the above, right? Somebody could start, somebody could be the first person in their business to actually start a business. And the things that you could be fighting against is the, the people who don't understand. Like, why do you want to start a business? You seem like you got a nice job. You know, why would you want to, you know, add that extra stress? You may have, you may be fighting against people who don't understand. So they're not as supportive as you thought they would be for your business. That could be breaking some kind of a cycle or change. So get ready to feel like, so some of you all, because you're ascending higher, get ready to almost feel like, you're alone in something, right? And then tapping into your strength because somebody wants something different for their lives, their kids, or if you don't have kids for your community world at large and that kind of thing. So, and to some degree, you may feel like you're alone, even though you do have your ancestors praying for you in, but don't, don't look at it as, as something bad. A lot of times when people start out, if it's a business that you're starting, Gemini, um, people may not understand how to support you. People may want to support you, but they may feel like, okay, I don't necessarily have the tools. So don't always look at it as like a negative thing. When I hear people say, when I started my business, I just knew that my family would come and support. Not everybody knows how to support. Maybe you've inspired somebody to start their business and they're thinking, wow, you know what? If Gemini can do it, I'm inspired by Gemini. Let me start working on my plan. Let me start doing this and let me start doing that. And maybe they don't know how to communicate it. I like to try to give people the benefit of the doubt, not being naive, but also understanding that too, there are times when we also need grace from people. We, we want people to extend grace to us. So this devil card right here wants to keep a state of confusion going on. So if you're, if you're breaking some kind of chain or cycle or whatever, this devil energy right here will almost tempt me. We think about the devil. We think about the tempter. We think about snake energy, like as an Adam and Eve story, that kind of thing. You may encounter energies that remember snake energy is also Kundalini experience. So it may not be that the energy is trying to get you to vibrate low, but it can also be some kind of a distraction. So like I said before, if you're starting a business or something of some kind and, and people are, you know, kind of nitpicking and you don't have enough time for me or that kind of thing, it's again, you all are ruled by Mercury, which is the communication planet. It is no longer retrograde. So effectively communicate with people. Hey, I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying to, you know, um, change the future for the family or whatever the case may be as it, as it relates to this reading. Again, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too. Only take what resonates with you. But but communicate with people, but also at the same time, you're extending grace. You shouldn't have to repeat things over and over and over again. As a matter of fact, you all are um, the most effective communicators in the Zodiac because, well, you and Virgos, because you guys are ruled by Mercury, the communication and learning planet. So get your rest. Um, Try not to get stressed out. This is where you're using your time wisely. This is where you're being more conservative with your spending. How are you spending your time? Your time is your currency, right? If you're spending your time, you know, in fear, this right here, fear, doubt, confusion. In other words, wearing yourself out, draining your own energy, you know, at that lower frequency, you're also picking up other energies from a, on a low frequency too. So try to keep your vibrations as high as you possibly can. Okay, here we have, like I said, the four of swords and also um, the four of pentacles. So this is where somebody is getting really grounded and rooted and really saying, okay, I'm going to be serious about how I'm spending my time. How am I, am I wasting it or am I investing 
in myself to break some kind of a cycle, break some kind of a chain. And so I do see as a result of that, somebody working hard and earning money. And I do see you being your own knight in shining armor, right? And I do see, um, here we have the uh, two of cups, soulmate energy coming across your path to help you. Soulmate energy, don't get deceived by the picture. It's not always romantic interest. It could be a, a new member of your soul tribe that's helping you with this journey. Again, we got the two of cups right here um, twice. And so soulmate energy could be a new best friend. It could also be a new partner either way, either, you know, business partner, romantic partner, whatever the case may be. But I do see somebody come kind of coming to you and they investing the time in you to help you grow your money. That's what I'm saying. I see somebody coming across your path to help invest in you, to help you to grow your money. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody. And so again, as you're doing something that's going to change the the path for your um, for your family, there could be some people who don't understand what's happening or what's going on. Don't automatically assume the worst, please. Please don't automatically assume the worst. Extend grace. Please extend grace. Because again, when people don't understand and it's confusing for them, it, it can cause them to vibrate from a lower frequency. But since you already know what your plans are um, um, at a higher frequency, you're able to also use your, plan, your ruling planet Mercury to communicate that. That's an opportunity for you to teach people, you know, to, to make them more knowledgeable about what you're doing. And ultimately could possibly gain some support from some people as well. We have the high priestess card twice. So it looks like somebody has a good idea of what they want their future to look like. See how this person right here has this crystal ball. Somebody's like, I know how I want my future to look. I am, I am speaking into my own future. And in that, knowing how you want your future to look is not just about money. Remember, your money is also tied to your relationships with other people. So you're also speaking that into existence. You are speaking it. You're making a bold declaration that I have healthy, wealthy relationships, right? Um, solid relationships where there is no miscommunication, no misunderstanding. You're actually speaking it into existence. So, yeah. So let's see what else we have here. We have the Four of Swords. And so Four of Swords energy is, again, further reiterating getting your rest. It's further reiterating. Just get your rest, rest your mind, look at how you want to speak into your future. Remember, we have a super new moon on the 21st of January. So this is a super new you, opportunity for a super new you. And if you want to change, if you want to break some kind of a cycle, some kind of generational cycle and transform to your higher selves, uh, again, we're looking at the judgment card. You're transforming to your higher selves. You are speaking it into existence. You're speaking it into the existence. You're laying the foundation with speaking it into existence. So let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. A new start is coming. Yep, a new start is coming. I love it. I love it. I love it. A new start is coming. 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 Family. Mm-hmm. I see just a more harmonious, uh, you're, somebody's moving more towards a harmonious family. Um, and again, this uh, heart energy right here also connected to the heart chakra. This air energy, the element of air is connected to your heart chakra, but it's also connected to your thinking. So somebody could be overthinking something. And again, sources like get your rest. I'm going to send some messages through, um, through your spirit, through a dream. Um, or it can also come through while you're thinking about something, while you're grounded and rooted. Like you could be literally washing dishes or, you know, in the bathtub or shower, something where water is involved. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, messages are coming through, whether you're awake or while you're asleep. But I do see Source sending messages to you. So just pay attention to the messages that Source is sending to you uh, so that you don't give in to any temptations whatsoever, if, of any misunderstandings whatsoever. Yeah. Also, I am seeing... I'm also seeing the, the tower card. Like, there's going to be some people that's going through some kind of a shock. 
like some kind of an awakening that you were able to um, break free of something. Like, and for then it's going to be some kind of shock. Maybe you were able to break free from somebody's family, maybe an ex's family or something like that. But I do see you ascending higher and um, there will be some assumptions about some things, but nevertheless, you're divinely protected. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to the fact that you're divinely protected because you really do have a mission, a mission to have a more harmonious, it looks like, family situation here. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what your number card is. Let's see what we have here so we can go ahead and close this out. Let's see what we have here so we can go ahead and close this out. Let's see what we have here so we can close this out. The number six, I am nurturing. That's right. So your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. That's right. Number six. And then let's pull one last card and let's go ahead and close this out, Gemini. But like I said before, use the use the fact, use your, your ruling planet as your power. Mercury um, is yours and Virgo's ruling planet. You all are excellent communicators. Um, you all are able to find the details, like pick out things that you need to communicate in order to make sure that people uh, if, uh, understand what you're, you're, you all are very effective communicators. Make sure you effectively communicate what your plans are to people that you love. And along the way, if they're still confused about what, you, what your plans are, um, communicate that with them. Yeah, communicate that with them. So here we go, affirmations for letting go. So one of the things that I see letting go is not necessarily letting people go, but just letting go of any fear or any doubt of harmony within the family to some degree. Um, that you can have a harmonious family, whether it's connected to an ex or, you know, new situation going on or whatever, that whatever your idea of family is. For some people, family is their soul tribe. So you just want harmony. So here we go, letting go. I release what I cannot control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I am shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. Yep, that's what it is. That is what I have for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all on Sunday. We know that Sunday is, uh, the, after Sunday, we have Motivational Monday. So again, I hope you guys have a, a fantastic weekend. Again, I will see you on Sunday. But again, close out any emotions attached to any fear, doubt, um, anything that you feel like is going to cause um, distractions or disharmony within your family, regardless whether it's blood relatives, soul tribe, whether it's blood relatives or not. Let me just say that because this is what I'm seeing for somebody. I'm seeing a lot of harmony. And this number five lets me know it's a pivotal point. A lot of things are changing. Uh, communication is going to be at the heart of all of that. So that's what I see for you, Gemini. So again, congratulations to each and every one of you all. I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.